Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today I'm doing the needle and thread corners on very short hair. As you can see, the hair is very short. And the needle flat twist at the back section, where I'm also going to crochet some Mali hair. Interested? Stay tuned. As usual, I'm using the Sheer Argan Living Conditioner to keep the hair hydrated. And for the parts, I'm using Jabu Stone. I just need to mention that this is one of the stylists at Nasha Hair Studio. And when she joined the team, she didn't have much hair. Just look at the pictures. You'll see that she didn't have much hair. She was wearing too tight such that she got a lot of bald patches because her hair was pulled too much. So when she was taking out the hairstyle, the hair was coming out as well. That's when she joined the Nasha Hair Studio team as an intern. I then put her on a hair regrowth routine, a treatment every month, and also gave her the hair growth scalp balm and the unisex and hair loss spray, which she has been using. And look at her hair now. This product, you guys. <laughs> okay, it's my product. So let me not say too much. Okay, back to the hairstyle. As I mentioned earlier, I'm doing the needle cornrows for the front section and the needle flat twist at the back. If this is your first video, to watch me doing needle cornrows and you want to learn how to do it, I have a more detailed video, the ultimate tutorial on needle cornrows that you may want to watch as well. That video is in colored yarn and you'll be able to see step by step exactly what I do when I'm doing the needle cornrows. In this video, I'm mainly showing you the crocheting and the hairstyle that you can actually do combining the needle cornrows and the needle flat twist for a complete hairstyle. I need to mention as well that needle cornrows, needle hairstyles allow for otherwise short hair to be styled neatly and the hairstyle stays neat for longer because the yarn holds the hair down. If you're enjoying this video, you'll probably enjoy most of my videos. So why don't you subscribe and also click on the notifications so that you are notified every time I post something on this channel. And if you're subbed already, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. We are doing this together. And soon enough, we are going to reach 100K subscribers. I am so excited about reaching that milestone. I don't know. <laughs> I just can't wait. Like, I can't hold myself. I am excited. Like, what? Is this really happening? <laughs> okay. All right. For the back section, I got busy cutting a client's hair and I had to leave my model. So one of the stylists helped me with a needle flat twist at the back. That's the thing. When you come to Nasha Hair Studio, I'm not the only one who knows how to do needle cornrows. Those who are regulars at the studio know. I have a whole team of stylists that I trained myself to work with natural hair. As you may know that the current hairdressing curriculum only trains hairdressers to do chemical treatments mainly and nothing on natural hair. I have to train all my stylists myself on how to handle natural hair. So when you come through, unless you really want me to handle your hair, my stylist will do very well with your hair as well. And that's the reason why I developed the guide to natural hair care. And you guys, I know you've been waiting for it. A lot of people have been asking me about it and I am going to make it public very soon. I'm going to put it on my blog most probably. And I'm also going to uh, be able to send the guide to you guys, which is like a comprehensive guide on how to handle natural hair. I don't know. I, I, sh I think I'm too much of a perfectionist. And every time I started writing this guide, like some three years ago, and every time I'm like, no, let me add this, let me add that. Let me explain more here. So I think I'm just going to give it to you as it is and then make more revisions as I add more material to it. Okay, so it's coming, guys. <laughs> it is coming, I promise. So yeah, so when you come through, unless you really want me to handle your hair, my stylist will do very well with handling your hair. Trust me, they will do a very good job. One of the questions I'm often asked is, if it is possible to crochet on needle cornrows or needle flat twist, the answer is yes, yes, yes. I mean, why not? That is the reason I am crocheting here at the back. And I'm also crocheting on the cornrows a bit. So it's on the flat twist mainly, but I'm also doing it on the needle cornrows so that you can see that it is possible. I'm doing the invisible root method, especially around the perimeter of the hairstyle. I'm also inserting the hair much closer to each other around the perimeter of the, of the crocheting area. <laughs> On the area that I'm doing the crocheting, I'm inserting the hair much closer to each other compared to the middle where it is much more sparse. Because really, there is no need for you to uh, peg hair when you're doing crochet. Like where it's not going to be seen, you don't have to peg hair unless you want to increase volume. But if your volume needs are meant, you don't really need to add hair everywhere. You just need to add hair here and there and that's it. That's what I like most about this technique of installing hair extensions. There's no pressure really. Some of the uh, cornrows or some of the flat twists don't have to have hair on them. And that's it. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, I am 
done. I apply a bit of the sheer agam leave-in conditioner to make running my fingers through the hair much easier. And then I brush the hair gently, holding the root down so that I don't pull the hair out. Trim a bit before fluffing out for more volume and I am done. This is the hairstyle. Do you like it? If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also share the video with your stylist or anyone whom you think would love it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you. Bye.